<laughs> that is hard to watch. Hey singers, I am Katie Power, vocal coach, vocal health expert, and founder of the Total Vocal Health System, which shows singers how to never ever lose their voice again. And today I am going to show you my reaction to a singer and the vocal health issues that she's displaying in her singing. Things that can be prevented to have better vocal health. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, this is Rio Doyle, who is on The Voice, singing I Got Issues, and she does have some issues. So we're gonna talk about those in just a moment. Let's bring up the clip. I'm just gonna play a little bit of it for you, and then we'll break it down. Here we go. Yes, Rio. And one of them is hell, but I need you. One of them is hell, but I need you. <laughs> that is hard to watch. <laughs> okay. What I'm really going to focus on in this cut is the two U's that she does. The very first one, well, both of them, let's talk about both of them first. She makes a roundness in her mouth in the first one, ooh, like that. And some of what the problem is there is that she's rounding so much and making a lot of space in the back of her throat and singing from her chest. All of those things combined are going to cause a, a kind of pinchy feeling and you can hear just the teeniest bit of waver in her sound right at the beginning of that. And then she kind of smooths through that. And then in the second one, she opens just a little bit more in the front and she opens more in the back to make it a bigger sound. Now, I absolutely, if you've heard me talk about this before, <laughs> absolutely hate when coaches tell singers to make an open sound. And this is why. And this is a perfect example of it. So both of those U's are on pitches that are past where that chest voice is meant to go. It's past the safe zone. So when we sing in a chest voice, which is when we make all that space in the back, you have breaks. That's what gives you breaks. And when you push past those breaks, you are stretching the capacity of that chest voice, which causes strain on your cords. So it's, it's not supposed to go past an A above middle C. And the first U in her song is a B, and the second one is a D flat. So both of those are past that safe zone. And so when you push past that, it causes strain in your voice. And repeatedly doing that, yes, you can stretch past it, but just because you can doesn't mean it's healthy or that you should. And in this case, <laughs> it is not healthy and you should not. So I do not recommend taking any advice from someone about making open big space back there unless you're singing opera classical music. Something like this, when you make all that space, in my opinion, it also sounds a little strange. It has kind of a hollow uh, kind of sound. Just, I don't, I don't find it pleasing to listen to. I guess people do, but it causes a lot of strain. The other thing about that strain, because some people might say, well, I can handle the strain. Well, the strain is going to cause the fatigue. It's also potentially when you repeatedly push past that, when you're asking your cords to do something that's out of that safe zone, which again, that chest voice has a limit, which is why I don't recommend you use it ever. But when you push past it and you cause that strain, you can develop things like nodes, nodules, polyps, all the whole, all the yucky stuff that we're afraid of as singers. That's what you can do from continuing to push past that safe zone in your chest voice. And I would bet, I don't know, because I don't know this singer, but I would be willing to bet that voice loss and vocal fatigue are things that she has experienced probably many times before because it's just not possible to sustain that kind of pushing of the chest voice. Instead, what she should be doing is not making that space. It's so just like when we talk. Right now, I'm not making that space when I talk and I could sing that B or that D flat with this kind of space, just like when I'm talking, and there would be no strain. It would be easy. It would come out and it would be nice and strong, just like she wants it. And it would be completely natural and healthy. And that is why I recommend the tip that I gave you, moving it into more of a place like you're speaking. When you don't make all that space and you still sing with power, 
you can keep going. You, those breaks in your voice go away. And that's what we want. So that's just my little tip. And if you want more, I am having a free vocal health case study that's starting on May 24th and I'm taking applications for them now until Friday the 21st. So if you are doing this and you want to fix it, join my case study. There is an application and the link is below if you would like to check it out. Uh, and I can't wait to uh, work with you. Hope this was helpful.